Did you know $20 could buy you a whole bin of stuff at an estate sale? And I got two boxes. First, I got a pile of vintage scarves. I found this vintage leather purse and some eyeglasses, a copper tea kettle with great patina, some 70s mugs, and a flower sifter. When you find these sales, it's kind of crazy. Sometimes things need a lot of cleaning, but you can get entire sets of vintage goodness. There's one more. Sales where you pay by the pile allow you to get a lot of little stuff, like Royal Dalton snowman cups. I didn't even know aluminum candles existed. Some super cute chocolate dishes, or, or vegetables if you want to do that. Decanters and tins, found a few old photographs, and some mason jars. I'm still on the first box. Look at this turkey goodness. Multiple me's. That's too much of me. We interrupt this unboxing for our thought for the week. This month we're focusing on renewal and I love this quote. You must learn a new way to think before you can master a new way to be. You guys, that's so true. The way you think about your life is the way your life will unfold. So yeah, learning a new way to think gives you more options. On to box two. Two of these. Maybe not the candle, but look at that little cherub. Somebody needs a bath. You could get a mug tree with mugs. A whole set of these. A little clamshell dish. Again, just too much of me. Lots of silver trays. A bird music box that doesn't work right now, but we'll see. A bell for your butler. And this gorgeous perfume, but we're not done yet. We also got Willow from England. Decks of vintage cards. A vintage canasta tray. And a towel holder for your bathroom or kitchen, mustache mugs and baskets, and a few very vintage books. Look how well used this is and just imagine all those times around the piano. I got an old cutting board and a punch bowl. Or for popcorn, more trays for my chocolate, and milk glass and 70s bowls. I spent $40 and I got a crazy amount of stuff. And if you're new around here, what do I do with everything? Some things go into my shop and some things go into vintage mystery boxes in my shop. And a few things might stay with me so we can have some fun decorating together. If we haven't met, I'm Sandy from Whimsy Barn. Check out my online shop and come back tomorrow. We'll have more vintage goodness. Ooh, and tell me what your favorite piece was.